Hi, Meryl from DiffBot here, and today I'm going to step you through a slightly more advanced feature of Crawlbot, DiffBot's web crawler. As I mentioned in the Crawlbot Basics video, Crawlbot is an extremely powerful crawler that we can use to crawl millions and millions of pages across the web. If you are entirely new to Crawlbot and want an explainer video about what the major fields on the crawl setup screen mean, you should probably head over to the Crawlbot Basics video first. It takes about five minutes and introduces you to the different APIs you can use to process crawled pages, as well as how to set seed URLs, crawling limits, and processing limits. For this video, I'm going to show you a very powerful feature that allows you to crawl behind login screens. So uh, a great use case for this would be something like crawling an internal knowledge base or some cloud-based tool with many, many pages. Um, in this case, I've made a few private posts um, within our blog. If you aren't familiar, private posts in WordPress are basically what they sound like. Uh, you can't see them unless you're logged in. So uh, I have here private post one and uh, two. Uh, with just some lorem ipsum text. So uh, these aren't available on the pu public web, only available to me right now because I'm logged into our WordPress site at blog.diffbot.com. So we want to see if we can crawl these non-public web pages. So jumping back uh, into Crawlbot screen, I'll name this uh, private post crawl. And I will specify blog.diffbot.com is our seed URL. Um, I will also specify blog.diffbot.com as our crawling patterns. Uh, so basically crawling the entire blog. And we should also choose an API type. Um, these are articles, so I'll specify article API, which returns things like author, featured image, text, categories, other pieces of data related to articles. So scrolling down to our processing patterns, I'm going to specify the string private. Um, this will only process pages that have the word private in the URL, and the URL slugs from both of these private posts contain the word private in them. So now one final step is we need to enable our crawler to essentially log in to our site uh, so it can see the private pages. So to do this, we'll jump back over to uh, blog.diffbot.com where we're logged in and we will open the uh, Chrome console in this case or whatever web browser console you are using. And um, you go to the network tab and uh, in this case, click control plus R to reload the site. And you can see what's coming across the network uh, as you load the page. So this will vary from site to site. But in our case, we're looking for an asset corresponding um, with the site as a whole, rather than, uh, say, an image or an external script. It looks like it is this blog.diffbot.com asset. Um, and once you click on this asset, you can scroll down until you find a field titled cookie. And we are just going to copy this entire field, return to our crawl setup screen, and under custom headers, uh, paste this into the cookie field. So then you can just head to the bottom of the page, click Submit, and uh, let's see if we were able to crawl behind our login. So uh, this obviously may take a second, depending on how large the site is, how many pages you're having to crawl through before we hit a private page. Um, but as we are crawling, we should see pretty quickly see uh, at least the first page with private in the URL. And maybe two. There are both. So let's click on the... Uh, JSON to make sure we got the right pages. Um, and yes, this looks like these are the two private lorem ipsum pages, um, as well as all the fields that correspond with our automatic extraction API for articles, the article API. And uh, you, you can obviously do this with different types of pages and with an automatic or a custom API. Um, but uh, this is how you essentially crawl behind logins. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and follow this playlist where we'll add additional advanced crawl bot videos in the future.